What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I printed a life-size Charmander. Uh, a lot of questions I got from that build were about aspects of it that I sort of just glazed over. The whole video, I didn't go into a lot of depth of each aspect of the build. It was more just about showing you how you can go from STL to a large size build. In this one, I wanna break it down and, and go over the various components or, or portions of the build in a little bit more detail. So you can, as a beginner that's really never done too much 3D printing, get yourself from start to finish and you don't need to be an expert. So the first part and one of the pieces that of the build that I got a lot of questions about were how I sliced my model. So there are, there's some programs out there um, like Lubin that will do all the cutting for you. It's a subscription-based service. Um, I just found it easy enough using Creality Print 5. I shouldn't say easy as there are, is an issue there with the slicing tool. So for this build, we're gonna go over to Bamboo Labs. So here we are guys, let's go and add ourselves a model. And in the vein of Pokemon, let's just finish the, or let's get moving on with the starter three and let's do Squirtle. So here we've got Squirtle. Let's lay him on his bum, but he's not the right size. So how I get the height for him, which I did show in the previous model uh, video, but I did get still a lot of questions on that was just chucked his, this into Google. So 51 centimeters, I live in Australia with a metric system. Please don't hate guys. Um, it is what it is. Right now let's make him the size that we want. We've got him clicked scale tool. And right now he's only 66 millimeters tall. Let's change that to 510 millimeters, which is 51 centimeters. Here he is. So as you can see, I've got my Creality K1 selected here and it's showing in the lighter green, the build area. If I drag Squirtle around here, it's showing in the dark green what is not inside the build volume of my printer. So if I just work on at the minute, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is cut the tail off, but what I'm gonna show you is if I wanna work on at the minute a portion of say this front quarter of him, if I make sure his hand there is not grayed out or not darkened out, that looks all pretty good. Don't make it too tight, don't make things hard for yourself. I know that if I look down straight down the middle, once we split him later down the middle, that's gonna work out fine, but let's just cut this tail off. So. There's no shortcut key up here, or at least I can't see it. Um, so hit C on your keyboard, and this brings up the cutting tool. These little toggles, which are all over the X, Y, and Z, if you grab that, you can move it by 0.1 degree increments, if you had a specific cut that you needed to do, or you can go to the notches, which is five degree increments, or you've also got a 45 and a 90. So if you hover over it, it will snap straight to it. Now. I've moved it to a 90 degree cut. I just want to cut the tail off the back. Let's grab the cut shadow and move it over to the tail. Now make sure you can see here, make sure you're not leaving a small portion of his shell there or whatever it is you're cutting. That's good. You can add connectors. I don't use connectors. Um, I may use them in the future, but I'm not gonna bother getting into that right now. If you want to, there's a lot of tutorials out there that you will cover this. Right, so perform cut. Once I perform my first cut, the two pieces are selected together. If I move them around, they're both together. Just select away, grab the piece you want. Now that tail fits in the build area. I could print that right now, but it's gonna need a heap of supports. It's gonna make the preparation part later for paint a, a, a pain. It's gonna need, you're gonna need to do a lot more work. So what I wanna do, which is gonna then require printing two pieces, but what I want to do is hit C and cut him in half. This is going to just make the repetition part of making the cut. You're going to get used to it a bit better, okay? So we'll just do this a few more times and I want to show you one portion of cutting that just to look out for when, you, when, you're, when you're slicing whatever model it is you want to do. So I've got my 90 degree, as I said, I grab my toggles and I go to whatever I want, hover over, snap to, but I wanted the 90 degree there. So, Oh, I think I stuffed that up, guys. Let's go back. Yeah, let's just do this again. It's better safe than sorry. Snap two, snap two, 90 degree cut, perform cut. 
both pieces are selected together. That's a good one right there anyway. So that's on the face that I want. That's gonna require no supports. Nice, clean, easy print to fix up. Click away, grab this piece, lay on face. Lay it like that. Let's give ourselves another build plate. Let's give ourselves a couple more. Why not? All right, let's move you over here and let's get this one cutting. Okay, here we go. First things first, I'm just gonna hop him up straight and I wanna cut him in half. So C on the keyboard and 90 degree cut, form cut, easy. Now, pieces together, let's just move you away. This is the last one I wanna show you guys before we move on. Um, let's get our pieces here. Now, that is for the bottom half of him, pretty much all in what I want in the build area. Oh, no, his hand's not. Move it back. Okay, cool, I'm happy there. Zoom in. We're not gonna be perfect here. This is not gonna be the slice. I've actually already printed these pieces. So, if I hit C, and I grab my piece toggle here and let's cut him. Now, when you're moving your shadow of the cutting tool, you're getting this little silhouette of your model. If you grab it, let's zoom in a bit further to really go over it. To make your life easier later, guys, um, don't say, right, that's in my build area. I wanna go with that cut there for whatever reason. You wouldn't do, but look at what your silhouette looks like. That's got a really tight, you're not gonna get any tools, fingers, filler in there when it comes to um, putting your seams together and, and, and flushing your seams with with whatever be it, uh, putty or, um, or even primer paint or filler paint. It's not gonna get in there. It's just gonna make your life so much more difficult. So for me, I'm looking for something that gives me the simplest amount of geography to work with later. That's not too bad, but I don't want to really be working around this portion of his shell. So, I, okay, I'm not using the full amount of the build plate here, but for me, that's where I'm pretty happy with my cut to go. There's some nice rounded edges. This is tightest real piece here. There's a tiny tight part there. I'm not going to get away with that. That's just the way the model is. So that's one thing to look out for when you're doing your cuts, guys, is put your cuts in easy areas for yourselves. Perform cut. Separate the pieces. Let's get rid of your head. That's all good now. Center it if you want to. It's gonna work. Um, that one will require supports. You're never gonna get away from not requiring supports, guys, for some things, just depending on what the build is. So um, yeah, that that's how I, have, I slice my model. Um, and that's how you get around the size of your printer. So you can build a life-size, uh, whatever, Goku from Dragon Balls. There, you, you can create a seven foot Mewtwo. You can create whatever you want. The build area of your printer does not matter. Because realistically, unless you've got some industrial crazy 3D printer, you're never gonna be always able to print what it is you want. Um, I'm by no means an expert, guys. Um, I'm just figuring these things out and getting myself out of trouble as I go along. Just scour YouTube, there's some amazing makers out there that are doing some really cool stuff and they've been doing it for a lot longer than me and they go into your different slices in a lot more detail. You've got Uncle Jesse, uh, Frankly Built, MM Prop Shop, um, to name a few. But uh, if you wanna watch me go from start to finish on this next build, this Squirtle build, life-size Squirtle, um, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one when we move into preparation for paint. Thanks, guys. It was fun.